Yo, what's poppin' y'all? So we got frame one with the Dragon Ball Deliverance episode four, the fan made series legacy. So without the way, let's go, let's get it. It is a 50 over a 50 minute video, so I don't want to waste any of you guys' time. The following is fan animation and DB, DBZ, GB, DZ, yeah, DBGT and DBS are all owned by Funimation, Toy Animation, Shoeisha, Akira Toyama, and Toyota. Please support the official release. Boom. <laughs> and ep epilepsy warning. So, careful. That's all I gotta say. Careful. Let's get it. Shout out to Frame One. Uh, I think Etolic Animations is part of this. So, shout out to Etolic. This video sponsored. is sponsored by. Hey, listen. Neo Maki. Shout out to you. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, Neo Maki. But. You know what I'm saying? I gotta move forward. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? I think we good? Yeah, we good. Sponsor me. <laughs> previously on Dragon Ball Deliverance. Oh, we got the previously? Okay, cool. The Z Fighters are scattered across Namek by a group of Even I remember. But... The scattering results in a legendary rematch between Vegeta and Broly. After managing to defeat Broly, Commander Daiko intercepted Vegeta's victory and captured Broly while he's still alive. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Goten and Trunks face an opponent unlike anything they have ever seen before. Yeah, look at and it appears that fusion is not the way to victory. And in other world, Piccolo confronts an unknown entity who seems to have intel on this group. Make sure I'm recording. Who yep. is this mysterious man? Should be who good. is Daiko? And what is his objective? Time for answers. Now. Cool. A frame one production. Like I said, shout out to frame one. Let's see, let's see. I'm liking the whole aesthetic right now. Look at the coloring too. Like a violet color. Okay. Why? Look at the art too. Daiko. Okay. Damn! I guess put him out of his misery then. Fuck. <laughs> Damn. Sheesh. Like. I hope y'all got y'all snacks, by the way. This is gonna be a long one. An opening? An opening! Oh, uh -uh. I wish it was like more longer. It is what it's. I get it. Straight to the. Very well. All right. I will tell you everything. But first, allow me to introduce myself. My name is O. H to O V. You. How do we stop? You are. What is going on? I know for a fact that I've never met him before. And yet, when I look at him, it's like I know him. Oh damn, what happened? Not you seem surprised. Okay. I don't know why, but it feels like I know you. I can't place it. Curious. Say, have you ever performed the forbidden fusion technique of our people? I don't know, making fusion so with nails. That's how it is. The reason that technique is forbidden is because the host will not only inherit the absorbed one's life force and essence, but also its memories. It's highly possible that whoever you fused with either knew me or knew of me. That's <laughs> right. So either nail or Kami. It's the same gut feeling I had 24 years ago at the martial arts tournament when I met Shin. Yeah. Tie it back. Nice. In any case, I can't rely on that as an introduction, so I think I owe you a proper one. My name is Asturi. I'm the last great sealer Namekian that walks among this plane of existence. Okay. I'm sure you have many questions, but answering them one by one will not make you any wiser, I presume. For you to learn who they are, Piccolo, you must learn the history of our people. 
I will show you everything. Okay. I like how he has that little Orochimaru little um thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Where are we? Can't you tell? This is your home planet over 500 years ago. Oh, a little futuristic. Okay. Oh, this is so Star Wars esque. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is super Star Wars. This? Namek? How is that possible? This is incredible. I can't believe Namek was. This developed. This advanced. This populated. Can you find it odd? A race that seemingly enjoys most of their days meditating were able to create wishing orbs, able to alter our plane of reality? It didn't occur to me, no. Namek was ahead of its time, more advanced than all other civilizations, defying the laws of nature, conquering worlds and more. We acted as if it was our destiny to shape the universe as we saw fit. We believed ourselves to be invincible, as no one could resist us. Okay. We were so focused on the outside, we failed to look within. What happened? The same thing that happens to all societies. Not everyone shares the same ideals, and sooner or later, conflict arises. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. At the time, though we formed one society, Namek was divided into three factions, three clans. Excuse me. The Dragon Clan. These were natural born fighters, using their energy to enhance their combat abilities. They were formidable. Piccolo, you're a descendant of that clan. Yeah. I can tell just by looking at you. Nice reference to King Piccolo. Piccolo Next Daima. Was the Sealing Clan. This clan specialized in sealing abilities. Bringing order and justice into our society was their primary job. I've never seen a Namekian using energy like this. The last main clan is the Soul Clan. Though limited in their abilities, their latent powers to connect with the essence of one's very being was one to be admired. It allowed us to truly be connected with one another. The story of Namek's downfall starts with the descendant of the Soul Clan, Daiko. Oh, yeah, I was he thinking was that. He was commander yeah. of Namek's first legion, a genius tactician who led Namek's army into thousands of battles and remained victorious. Okay. Although Namek was already at the top of his might, this wasn't enough for Daiko. He had a vision. A vision where Namek solidified in superiority over any other planet in the entire universe. And there were many Namekians sharing his point of view. I should have realized right then and there that his beliefs were bordering on the side of tyranny. Interesting. I like the expedition. I really like it so far. Very interesting. Where are we now? The Grand Military Tribunal. Here we find out about Daiko's war crimes. How dare you! Me? Execution? The Kachin was necessary for us to reinforce many of our infrastructures. We need our technology to evolve constantly to remain at the top of the universe. They wouldn't bargain. I single-handedly prevented years of pointless negotiations and planetary warfare. You narrow-minded fools! Daiko, may I remind you that you had an entire planet's population slaughtered using one of the military's most powerful weapons. 
You unleashed hundreds of gargoyles upon that world, with no authorization. You certainly cannot justify this crime. You've proven to be unpredictable, dangerous, unstable, and your actions have become irredeemable. You're missing the big picture! I dedicate my life to Namek! My actions! Silence! You are not to say anything further. Your Honor, I ask permission to speak on behalf of the people. Go ahead, Representative Guru. That's Guru. Okay. I do have a testimony for this assembly, and I hope to convince each of the senators that execution is not the way. I believe we may have misconstrued Daiko's character. I genuinely believe that Daiko thought he did what he did out of respect and patriotism for Namek. And though he cannot ever repent for his actions, I do not think we should justify murder <laughs> with murder. Guru defended Daiko and convinced the court to change their verdict from execution to life in prison. In the Republic's highest security facility. The art is just so good, <laughs> by the way. It's really good. It seemed as if everything was going back to normal. This did not last, I'm afraid. Shortly after Daiko became imprisoned, something terrible happened. One of the Damn. six senators was assassinated. And all evidence pointed at my fellow ceiling clan senator being the culprit. <coughs> Convenient. We all know there has been bad blood between the two of you. And now he's dead! The sealers are behind this! You better think twice before pointing fingers. Is that a threat? You have the nerve to threaten another senator? Are you planning to dispose of him? The same way you did with Senator Trom? You're accusing him of assassinating a fellow senator. You'd be saying this too if you were back into a corner like this. If you truly believe he did it, then he should prove his innocence in trial. This is not a place to decide a man's fate. Oh, how considerate of you to defend a fellow senior senator. Who is to say you're not in on it as well? A trial would only delay the inevitable! There's nothing to discuss! The way I see it, you did this yourself, Silo. Sedition and murder are most likely not an uncommon sight for so clan scum like yourself. It's interesting. I'm you like have more to say. gain from this than any of us. We might have lost a fellow senator, but if you don't watch your mouth, I'll guarantee you that he won't be the last. And just like that, our government fell apart. Yeah. No one trusted anyone anymore. It always bothered me. We've ruled Namek for hundreds of years, and not once have we thought about taking each other's lives. My guess? None of the senators did it. I think my fellow Ceiling Clan Senator was framed by Commander Daiko. Conflict arose, pacts had been shattered, and so was the peace between the three clans. And that was the start of Namek's Civil War. And here we go. And cool. Sheesh. Sheesh. By the time Ooh. our clans came to a ceasefire agreement, it was already too late. 
Among the hundred thousands of casualties, we found that apart from Commander Daiko, the Soul Clan was completely wiped out. We could not believe what we had done. One of Namek's main pillars had vanished, never to return. We did not want to accept this. We could not accept this. And so, we decided not to. We realized that if we pulled our powers together, we could somehow find a way to undo this madness, this war. And with the help of Commander Daiko, myself, and Guru, we had created wishing orbs. Wishing orbs that allowed us to alter reality. You are one of the Dragon Ball's creators? I used to be. Helping to create the Dragon Balls is my biggest regret, even up to this day. After fixing the damages caused by the Civil War, a new movement had started. It had become painfully clear that our system was not working. The remaining senators still distrusted one another and were unfit to lead. I too believed that our current system was horribly flawed, so I had no trouble renouncing my position if it meant fixing this dystopia. It was around this time where Guru decided to step up. His pacifistic ideals greatly impacted the citizens of Namek. For too long have we used other planets' resources for our own personal gains. For too long we tried to play God. No more! If we keep this up, our planet will be doomed for eternity. He wished for us to abandon our previous ways and carry on our days as a peaceful civilization. We've been given a second chance. Let's take it! <laughs> Focusing solely on spiritual enlightenment, hoping the next generation would not follow in the footsteps of their predecessors. He also wished for the Dragon Balls not to be used freely and wanted to link his fate to the Dragon Balls. Are you joking? You want to throw away all that we have worked for? Are you insane? Namek is on the verge of becoming the most important planet in the entire universe, exceeding even the might of the Supreme Kais! Look around you! If we didn't create the Dragon Balls, you'd be standing on a mountain of corpses made of your own people! What makes you think we're on the right track now? The Dragon Balls are the prime example of what we can achieve! With its power, we can Commander even- Commander Daiko! I respect you as one of the creators of these wishing orbs. I'll even go as far as to say you have redeemed yourself from your actions before the war. We have created a terrible curse. If word spreads of the existence of the Dragon Balls, Namek will become a target to anyone seeking a wish. The fighting will never stop. We cannot keep going like this. That's not for you to decide on your own! I've just about had it! with all of you constantly undermining the potential of Namek. Guru, you want someone to guard the Dragon Balls? Very well, I'll do it. I'll become the guardian of the Dragon Balls, and under my guidance, I will elevate Namek into the greatest planet this universe has ever seen! Don't do this, Daiko. It's interesting, man. I'm invested. I'm invested. This, you know. Ooh, cool little. Oh my goodness, that art is. Ooh, wow, that art is. Mwah. And so a duel took place, a duel that would determine Namek's fate. The winner would become the guardian of the Dragon Balls. It would lead Namek into a new era. <laughs> Mmm. 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 Hit it with the mouth beam. Oh my. Oh. Damn. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, oh my. Oh yeah, nah, it's over. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Nah, Cla Daiko, you got clapped. The battle was intense. But eventually. Yeah, you got clapped, buddy. <laughs> You've lost, Daiko. Curse you! The agreement was that the winner of this battle would be the one to take reign of Namek. But something tells me that you won't comply, no matter what we agree on. The same way a civil war conveniently broke out right after your imprisonment. Right, Daiko? I once defended you in court. I will not do so again. So what now? You're gonna have me executed after all? No. I do not believe in the death sentence. It would make you a martyr. And that would only breed more conflict and violence. However, I cannot let this stand either. Daiko! As my first official act as the new ruler of Namek, I hereby banish you from the Namekian society. You may no longer be an official citizen of Namek. Or make use of any of our privileges. You will be forced to roam the outskirts of our planet as a rogue criminal, living solely off water like we will do, so you can reflect upon your deeds and live out your final days in peace. And so Daiko was banished. He ventured into the wilds. Many of his followers went along with him. That was the last time I ever saw Daiko. When I was alive, that is. It also sparked a new era. We renounced war, technological advancements, colonization of other planets. We even abandoned our cities to live a peaceful life, sleeping in huts, focusing on our spiritual enlightenment, just like Guru envisioned it. In time, the planetary composition itself began to change. Temperature, atmosphere, gravity, natural resources. I'm assuming Namek turned back to its original shape. Ironically enough, during that era we found more peace than we ever did before. Like I said, I'm invested, bro. Then, after a few centuries, all of a sudden, the landscape of Namek was struck with disastrous power. <gasps> What's going on? <clears throat> out it was a climatic cataclysm one that was on an apocalyptic scale never seen anything like it so many casualties I didn't even know what to do everyone run towards the east coast get as far away from this place as possible guru we have to get out I'm so sorry what I'm afraid I'm afraid I caused this I'm so sorry as soon as he said that, I figured it out. This cataclysm wasn't a natural phenomenon. It was set up. This whirlpool of energy had an unnatural core. Something was indeed causing this. Trying to resist whatever it was, 
was suicide. This energy was so strong it killed anyone who was remotely close to it. Natural disasters happened all over Namek, with this mysterious storm at the center connected to it all. Uh, that's, that's Daiko's power. The soul absorption thing. Damn! Jeez. I knew that if we let this continue, Namek itself would be wiped from existence. What are you talking about? Where is our army? What happened to the civilians living on the countryside? They are dead. So many dead because of me. There was no chain of command anymore. So I came up with a plan as quickly as possible. It's deliberately coming toward us. Make it go south. Ceiling plan. Retreat to the soul shrine. Prepare to open the soul gate. We cannot fail. We must deliver at all costs. Though we chose to leave our old ways behind us, the remnants of our past still remain. I decided to lure the Cataclysm towards the inner shrine of the Soul Clan's headquarters. Stationed there is the Soul Gate, the most important artifact the Ceiling Clan has ever created. If we somehow managed to get it in there, it would be frozen in time for all eternity. Hmm. Shots. That's unfortunate. That's, I mean, that's unfortunate. Golly. That's just luck. That transition was nice too. You went out, you went out like a G, bro. Like a G, bro. Jeez.
So you sacrificed yourself. <coughs> Excuse me. I know what that's like. I'm aware of that. I've been watching over all Namekians ever since I perished. I also kept tabs on Daiko, and what I have found out was shocking. I was hoping to be wrong, but it was exactly as I feared. The one who caused the cataclysm was none other than Daiko. How? Oh. Daiko believed that Namek had taken a sharp turn away from its original position in the universe. He wanted to restore this, and in doing so, he created a weapon that, according to him, would steer Namek down the righteous path once more. The name of this weapon, Hydra. Whatever I sealed inside the Soul Gate, that was Hydra. It was changing, Namek. I could feel it. The gravity, temperature, the atmosphere. It all began to change. It was terraforming, Namek. A frightening weapon indeed. It felt familiar. Like the old days. I think this is Daiko's objective. He plans to return Namek back to what we made of it during the Golden Age. Like the way I saw it? And what would he gain from that? Who knows? For all I know, there's a lot more to it than that. But, as of right now, whatever is inside the Soul Gate is the only thing he cares about. The terraforming stopped as soon as I sealed this thing inside the Soul Gate. Mm -hmm. It is safe to say that Hydra is the key to all of this. And I have reasons to believe that Daiko finally figured out how to break the seal on the Soul Gate. Piccolo, this is why I reached out to you. I don't know what Daiko has found, but if he truly found a way to undo that seal, Namek will once again experience the hell I tried to prevent. You have 24 hours worth of time in the mortal world. Use it. Protect your friends. Protect Namek. And stop Daiko. I still don't understand why you need me in all of this. You seem perfectly capable of handling this on your own. You know more about this than me anyway. I wish I could. But my spirit can't handle it. I'm assuming it was the Cataclysm. This is no ordinary wound. It's much more frightening than that. I can barely use my energy, let alone my sealing techniques. I'm assuming that is why my brethren are not here with me. Mm. They are gone. Forever. Making me the last seal of Namekian in existence. But my abilities shall live on. Piccolo, I entrust my power to you. Are you sure? You want to entrust me with your life? I'm afraid I don't have much of a choice, but I haven't given you one either. Hmm. I apologize for the circumstances that I'm dragging you into now, without explaining all of this. It is not your responsibility to inherit my burden. But the fact is, you are the only one that I can turn to. It's quite a mess, all right. But I understand. If both Namek and my friends are at stake, then I guess I don't have much of a choice. I'll do it. Thank you. Okay. Take a look at a little costume change. Okay. <laughs> hmm. You be alright, Baba. You be alright. 
Hold on, before we keep going, shout out that you did a marvelous job with the expedition. So let's just keep going. The gargoyles are powerful bioengineered creatures based on the Namekian DNA. They were later perfected by Namekian scientists to serve. Aw, whatever. <laughs> I don't want to keep pausing. Even though I paused like twice, three times. <laughs> All right, go tanks. What you got, bro? Go, Jim. Uh, Trunks? Where are we? Still underwater. That thing is extremely resilient. Even as Gotex, we couldn't get past his armored skin. Then how do we beat him? We can't go into a higher state than this. Still, we gotta find a way. Every creature has a weakness. He can't be invincible. You say that, but we attacked it with everything we have, and it didn't seem to phase this thing. How could you still think like that? Maybe it's best to retreat and get help from Gohan. The last time we let our guard down, it cost us an eye. That thing is vicious. It won't let us go. I don't know about you, but I don't want to hide behind my old man anymore. For once, I want it to be the other way around mm. and protect them instead. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that does sound good. It's time for us to save the day for once. Maybe it's not about brute force. There are more ways to take down an opponent after all. Hey, that's Dragon Ball right I want to try something. Are you with me? I am. Let's do this. Look at that beefy gargoyle. Golly. Fucking stocky. Okay. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> Drangsu. Let's go, Trangsu. Mmm, hit him, Goten. Let's go. Mm. Let's aim for his head. Right. Aim for the head. <laughs> Drop kick his ass. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah. Yeah, tank that. Tank that big trunks. All right, go time. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. I've got him. <laughs> Let's see how tough you are without your helmet, ugly. Okay. Little goofy moment. Uh, what the hell is this thing made of? Oh my goodness. Shit. 
Oh, I thought I stabbed them. Oh. Pissed them off now. He endured so much when we were Gotenks. But that makes him buckle? That's gotta be his weak spot. Oh my goodness. The weave. Mm. Oh my. Ow. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Ow. Thraxy, you're getting messed up right now, bro. Oh my. Jeez. Oh, that's a that's a nice shot. That's a nice go 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 to shot. You do? All right. I'm all ears. Huh? I mean, that's great and all, but if we're gonna come up with a plan, shouldn't we do that without him being here? Uh, good boy. Okay, references to the Broly second coming. Cool little reference. You think we lost him? <laughs> okay. Seems so. He's like, is he there? He even is see he there? <laughs> Where's his eyes? Focus up, Goku. So, we need a distraction. Something that'll keep his attention away from us. Well, yeah. What are you thinking of? We still have that, remember? Oh, that's right. We do. We use it to get close, and then we'll target its weak spot with everything we've got. How are you on energy? Honestly, I don't have much left. Neither do I. I'll give you whatever I have left to spare. This is it, Go Ten. This is our last shot. If this doesn't work... Yeah, I know. Let's do this. Alright. What you gonna do, Trunks and Gohan? Uh, Gohan. Goten. Drink this water, I know it's about to be crazy. Oh, we oh my god how not the shoulder weave yeah hit him in the stomach oh, that's oh yeah what in the super saiyan 2 Jesus, come here. Oh, look at the return. Ah, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Ah, yeah, from the ghosts. Yeah. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Goodness. 
Now that's pretty. Now that's pretty. They did the inverse of the Metal Cooler movie, what Goku Vegeta did, the little, the little, uh, the little fist through, uh, not a little, but the big fist that they did to Metal Cooler. They did like the inverse. So that's a cool reference. Yep. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> of course we did. <laughs> Watch him regenerate. Watch him regen. Oh no. Guess not. Unknown realm. That cut was beautiful though. I ain't gonna lie. That was really beautiful. Oh, he chilling. Oh yeah. Ain't no. Mm. All right, bro. You see Ultra Ego? You see? Mmm. Is that a? Is that a promo right there? Huh? Hey, man! They called. They called. It just happened. Hmm. What? Who? <sighs> Big Kakara? Big Goku? The Kai's. Dude, it's our moment. Oh, the old Kai? What does he want with me? Some major crisis. Whole universe in danger business. Seems your friends are in trouble too. Where are they now? Hey everyone, this is Hi. Luke. Tom Ocean. And Mirimo. Today, we have yeah, finally been able to show the world what we have been working on for nearly a year and a half. Leave a light. We once again surpassed all our previous work and it took everything we had to get to such a result. We exceeded nearly all of our own expectations on this one and hopefully some of yours. This channel, formerly known as The Notorious Luke, has now become Frame One with its fourth episode of Dragon Ball Deliverance. It now represents the combined effort of nearly 30 passion-driven people. It would have been impossible to conclude this monster of an episode without the help of our new members. Please give these artists your support as much as you've done for us. They really deserve it. Shout out to y'all. Make sure I get y'all watch time. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. Shout out to, hey, shout out to y'all. See it, that's the credits right there. Too much, too many names to, to, to say it. So. Gonna let this play. I think y'all did a marvelous job. I love the whole aesthetic, the colors. I, that's what I'm really impressed with. It's the coloring. The coloring in this episode is was beautiful. It has a bunch of vibrant colors. It has a lot of more purplish violet color and then when they switch into the gohan not go i keep saying gohan goten and trunks versus that gargoyle beautiful beautiful especially that cut where they did a little reference to metal cooler movie with goku vegeta but it was like the inverse for uh goten and trunks that was sick um i would say though like um I think it's, like I said, it's mostly positive for me. I think the only, um, I would say, not good looking thing was the CGI at some points, like especially um, with the- Guys, seriously, oh. from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for watching. And for those who have watched until the very end, we want to give you a small sneak peek of what's to come for Dragon Ball Deliverance Act 2. Enjoy. Okay. Hold on. Back to, back to full screen. Look at Piccolo. Oh, go on. That's bra, if I remember correctly. Pan right there. There you go. Boom. So yeah, like I said, um, the only I would say 
not good looking part was the uh, the the CGI or the 3D um, with the Namekian space crews. I, I I don't think that looked too like off putting with the whole anime uh, with animation studs because obviously um, you could tell that they a lot inspiration from Shitani. They use a lot of Buu Saga Yamamoro, especially some of the cuts from the Goten and Trunks versus the Gargoyle fight. You could tell from definitely from the eyes, um, the big bold eyes a little bit with the blue um, um, pigment that the Super Saiyan eyes has. So, or the light green. Uh, I, I've, uh, turquoise? I, yeah, turquoise. There you go. But um, you could see a lot of different styles from the Shintani st uh, art style, from the classic Z Yamamoto style, uh, Yamamoto style. Even I, I think I've seen a little bit of Kubata, a little bit, a little bit. I wouldn't say too much, but a little bit. Obviously, you got a little bit of Takahashi, a little bit of uh, Shida, especially, especially from the a a camera work with the angles, because you know Shida likes to do that little hoo -hoo 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 style. I'm mean, not to say not. Nah. Other animators don't do that, but uh, Shida is mainly uh, Naruto Shida. That's mainly the, the person who really like stands out from uh, Dragon Ball for uh, animation production that does that. But like I said, uh, Frame One, shout out to you guys. Um, obviously, that's notorious loop, but Frame One, Frame One's the whole team. So shout out to you guys. You yeah, did a marvelous job. I. Uh, Hey, I can't wait for the next one, Act 2. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Y'all let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on my reaction. Your thoughts on Dragon Ball Deliverance Episode 4, the family series legacies. And without the way, subscribe if you're new. Roll to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month. That's the goal. I appreciate anybody who watches. Like the video. And like I said, leave a comment. And other than that, stay safe and stay hydrated, y'all. Peace.